Hello everyone, Berserker here and welcome to this video in which I'm going to be showing you how to download a mod for Total War Attila using the Steam Workshop. Uh, you might say this video is useless because everyone knows how to do that. I'd say you're wrong because um, I made pretty much the same video for Rome 2 explaining how to, download, how, how to download a mod for the game. And apparently a lot of people do know how to do it because that's one of my most watched videos uh, today. So I decided to do the same for Total War Attila. It works the same way as Rome 2, but still, uh, you know, if you don't know how to do it, that's perfectly fine, and that's why I'm here in the first place. So, how do I install a mod? Um, this is Steam. Of course, you need to open Steam first. Uh, you go to Library and go to Games, so this is where your library is. You select Total War Attila, which should be somewhere in the list. And once you see this, you gotta scroll down a little bit until you see the workshop items. These are the mods, basically. So. Click browse the workshop, here you can search for different mods, um, and these here are going to be the most downloaded mods um, on the top here. So let's say you want the natural water, which is actually, seems like a kind of a nice mod, so it's going to show you the mod page on Steam. And in order to download it, you got to click subscribe. So what you're subscribing to is the future updates for the mod. It's gonna be automatically updated once you've subscribed for the mod. So you're not just downloading the current version of it, but you're subscribing for the future versions. That's why it says subscribe and not um, and not just download. So once you do that, uh, back, you go to games here, you select Total War Attila and you just press play. Now you should have the launcher for the game appear. Once you do that, you click Mod Manager, and it's gonna show you all the mods that you've downloaded. So if I were to download different mods, I'm, uh, I was gonna have like different uh, mods here. This means the mod is active, so it's gonna be active once you launch the game. This means it's inactive. So pretty self-explanatory, it's gonna be active once you download it automatically. Uh, so if you click Play, you're gonna have the game um, with the mod active. And this button's gonna be grayed out if the, if you have a mod that that hasn't downloaded fully yet so even if you have an update you gotta wait for them for all of your mods to update first before you can launch the game so if this button's grayed out and you have something updated uh, updating and you don't need like you don't say you don't need this mod, you just uncheck that and you're gonna be able to play but if the mod is still downloading this button's gonna be grayed out now another problem is that apparently Mac users do not have this launcher at least that was the case for ROM 2 uh, there were a lot of people in, in the comment section of my previous video that I did for ROM2 uh, who said that they simply do not have this launcher. They just press play and the game just starts without this launcher, which is not the case for PC users, but apparently for Mac users it is. And if you are using a Mac and you don't have this launcher, I can't really help you. Um, I guess you can go to the uh, Total War Center and try and, download, uh, try and download mods from there. But once again, I don't know how uh, Max works, so I'm not sure if you can use like any mods uh, for Attila at all. Uh, so it can't really help you if you're using a Mac, just go to the Total War forums and do something. But yeah, uh, try and, I don't know, just try and research it. But yeah, uh, that's how it works for PC. Uh, this enables out-of-date mods, so sometimes when there is like a big patch, some of the mods are going to be marked as out-of-date. Uh, if you want to, you know, they can cause crashes and bugs and stuff like that, but if you want to play with those mods even though they're out of date you, you can just enable that uh, and yeah that's how it is it's pretty simple uh, as long as you don't have like 200 mods in here which I do for ROM2 I actually have quite a lot of mods which I'm not gonna be able to show you right now apparently but yeah uh, it's pretty self-explanatory unless you have like hundreds of mods so yeah if I just click play the game is gonna launch with the mod active it's really simple as that so yeah, that's going to be everything for this video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.